Hello my friends! Guess where I'm going today? I am going to be flying to Costa Rica and I wanted to take this film special for you guys to see how I deal with being in the airports. I also have a nine hour layover in Texas overnight so it's going to be a very interesting trip for me and I wanted to share with you how I deal with being on the road and in the air <laughs> as a raw vegan. So as you can see, I am just finishing up packing because I'm gonna have to leave. My shuttle leaves in about maybe two hours. And I've got my iPad, my um, keyboard, notebook, my camera, all my good stuff is gonna be in my backpack. And then this is my check bag. Just got a bunch of junk in there. So I'm going to go make myself a smoothie um, before I get ready to pack up the rest of my food. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I've got a whole pineapple chopped up and I'm gonna have um, four bananas, um, a whole pineapple and probably about four dates, which I just have to get from the fridge, but this will be my smoothie. I'm gonna have this right before I head out to take my shuttle. So I'm nice and full for the ride. And then I'm going to pack my bags with a couple snacks that I'm taking to the airport. I'm taking this to the airport. Three apples, some cherry tomatoes, and my bag of mangoes. I know they're not perfect because these ones have sulfites in them, I know, I know, I know, but they're dried mangoes and they tied me over really well over the plane and they're better than getting the crappy ones at the airport, so. But this will be my airport snackies. Bye, Chai. Bye, Chai. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I'll see you soon, Kay. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, my sweet cat. Yeah. Chai chai? Chai chai? Bye bud. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi my friend. I remember when I used to eat so much junk. Like, I loved traveling because I would just like stock up on candy and crap. And now to me, all of this looks like just like bags of stuff. Like, it's not actually edible. So I don't even, like looking at it, doesn't even trigger anything. I'm actually looking for water. Oh, there we go. Let's get some water. And go find a spot to sit down. Oh my god, they have veggies. Ah! I'm gonna have to get some of those. Yes. Oh my god, you guys, I just saw David Wolf at the airport. He's boarding to go to Toronto and I got a picture. You have to go to Instagram to see it. So yeah, as soon as I get to this charging station, I'm going to post on my Instagram at raw food romance. Picture of me and David Wolf. a plane like this before. Seems pretty cool. Alright. It's actually kind of cool to board from the ground. I've never boarded from the ground before. Mm. Alright, Calgary bags. All right, first plane of the day. I've got three planes to get to Costa Rica. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, your safety is our that. top priority. Oh my god, guys, my plane boards in four minutes and I'm 
I'm waiting for them. Pacing. Waiting. Oh my gosh. I hope they pull the plane for me. Uh, if not, there's a nine hour layover, so maybe I can get there somehow. Ah, I hope my bag's on this. No. 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 found a Starbucks that is closed, so, but it's a table and I can write. So I chose not to take the subway and I'm walking instead. All right, just got through security and this is the first thing I found, so I'm gonna buy it and eat it. Until um, I can find a salad, I'm also gonna get some water. Because I haven't had any in a while either. That should be good, fill me up for the next couple hours. Holy crap, you guys. I hit the jackpot. Look at this. Oh my. I mean, some of the stuff we can have, but they make salads, so I'm gonna make a salad. Because I need some green and cream, so yeah. No cheese. I need to keep the cheese out of that. Fresh juice. She's juicing the orange, celery, green apple. You can be raw in the airport. Uh, I got the salad. <laughs> Sitting down to a feast. Look at this. My salad, which is massive. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, my orange celery uh, green apple juice, four bananas, and a container of fruit. I'm going to eat this all because I'm starving. And yeah. I'm gonna try and eat it all anyways. I might save two bananas for the plane actually. We'll see. I found a plug-in. I can charge my phone. It's at 10%. And my charger thing is uh, not working, which is weird. I'm stuffed from eating. I didn't eat the bananas. I'm gonna save them for the plane ride. I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna
39 kilometers. No, he said at the restaurant you turn. Guess where I am? Oh, look at this. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, hey, Yo. YouTube. <laughs> Wow. Yay. Let's go inside here. You guys, this place is awesome. Now, I'm not going to put you in the room that you booked. No? I'm going to put you in the better room. Ooh. Because this one's got a nice view. Yes. I think you'll like this one. Wow. You can wake up to that in the morning. <laughs> Actually, there's two views in this room. The other night, I was just in here sitting in a chair in the dark, just looking at the oh out gosh. over the valley. <laughs> this is so awesome. Look at this, guys. Look how. Yay! I like this room. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Camera doesn't do it justice, that's for sure. Wow. Supper time, we're gonna make a big giant salad, and this is what we're gonna try and make a dressing with. Uh, mango, lime, some smoked paprika, red pepper, and he's grabbing some garlic, so we're gonna have, see how that goes. We'll probably put some avocado and cucumber in there too. You know, like different mango trees, I don't understand that part of it, but like they if don't, in other words, not every mango tree in the country produces at the same time. We have a mango tree here, but it's not producing right now. Oh. I think he said for this one is more like um, April, May, but now that's right. a tangerine tree right oh there. Oh my gosh. And I th I'm hoping we're going to, I think it's supposed to start about October or so, oh, maybe. Tangerine. And see, there's a, like, just what I was telling that woman, here's a little uh, papaya tree that's just pat, popped up from scraps. I guarantee you, some, I either, no, it didn't grow for me, but somebody threw some over the balcony here. Oh, that's a papaya tree, eh? 